Do you miss your Toyota Tacoma when you've been out of the driver's seat for a while? Let's go for a ride. everybody how are you today pretty good here out cruising around in the Tacoma so do you miss your Toyota Tacoma when you're out of the seat I gotta say I do uh, and one other thing I want to mention here real quick notice I'm sporting a sleeved shirt today so for all you fashionistas out there who don't like my black cut off shirts this is for you anyway I do miss it when I haven't been in the seat for a while you know the Tacoma has been sitting now for probably, oh, about the last five days or something, basking in the garage, covered and out of the elements. Because I've been driving the Gladiator around, I've mentioned before, I split time between both uh, my Toyota Tacoma and my Jeep Gladiator, and now it's the Tacoma's turn again. So what do I miss about it? Well, there's a few things I miss. One is the manual transmission. You know, I talk about how horrible the manual transmission is in this truck, and it is horrible, I gotta say, but I love it. I love it anyway, because I love the manual transmission, you know? And this truck, and part of the reason I got this truck was to scratch that itch, you know? I wanted a manual uh, just because I missed it. So that was the biggest factor, I suppose, in the reason that I went with the 2020. So again, as uh, unrefined, let's just say, as it is, I definitely do miss it. Uh, just the truck itself, you know, all the little nuances about it, you know, the way it rides, it is rougher than the Jeep Gladiator. Um, the way it sits, it sits higher than the Jeep Gladiator. So I always feel like I'm kind of on a pedestal up in the air when I'm driving around in this truck, right? And it's a neat feeling. I love lifted trucks. I can honestly say I don't think I'll probably ever not have a lifted truck again. At least a Toyota Tacoma anyway. I think the Tacoma is meant to be lifted. I think it just screams, lift me, lift me. Maybe not in that voice, but you know what I'm saying. Um, the technology in it, you know, I've heard some people complain about the Tacoma not being very ergonomically friendly. And I gotta admit, I don't understand that. Maybe I just have freakishly long arms or something. I mean, I, I don't know, I think they're normal. But I can reach everything in here and I like the placement and the size of the screen. You know, the screen in the Tacoma is a little bit bigger than what I have in the Jeep Gladiator. Um, and I honestly, I, I think the clarity is better too. I like the way the controls are set up. I like the way the touchscreen functions. Not that the touchscreen in the Gladiator is horrible or anything, it really isn't. But I think the one in the Tacoma is just a little bit better, you know? So I miss those things. Um, the feel of leather, you know, kind of a strange thing. I have cloth in the Jeep and, you know, I really do like leather seats. Um, they just feel better, you know? They feel better to sit in. It's hard to describe why. I mean, the Toyota Tacoma seats are certainly not more comfortable than the Gladiator. They don't feel as cushiony, and that's probably because of the leather, actually. I mean, the surfaces and things don't give as, as easily or as freely, obviously, as cloth does. So I think part of that probably has to do with, uh, with the seats being leather. I'm going to back up a little bit. Some guy, for some reason, was sitting at the light. The light turns... Uh, red and he doesn't go through the light instead he's like sitting halfway out in the intersection I don't know what he's afraid of uh, maybe he doesn't have a license and he's afraid that if he goes through that light a cop will see him although there are none around here but those are the kind you have to watch out for the ones that you don't see uh, so anyway yeah I have missed it um, you know again just the feeling that you get in driving around in the Tacoma 
you know, I've done a lot of mods and things to this truck. So I always feel like, uh, sort of like it's a, a spectacle driving around, you know, I've called it the unicorn before. And I think the name of my truck, for those of you who are into truck names, it's the blue unicorn because there aren't any others like it. I've never seen another Tacoma like mine. And I'm not talking about just the color. I mean, the voodoo blue. I have seen, I think, two uh, on the road since I bought mine. And I think both of those were uh, TRD Pros, I believe. So I've never seen another Voodoo Blue uh, off-road version Tacoma on the road around here anywhere. And I gotta say, if you're gonna see them, you're gonna see them here because South Texas is the hot spot for pickup trucks. They are everywhere, especially Tacomas. You see them all the time. I've probably passed I don't know, probably five of them while I've been on this video, just going up and down the roads. So they're everywhere. But mine, with all the mods and things I have on it, it's unique. And uh, I gotta say, I am proud of the truck. I like to show it off. Uh, I like to get out there and see if, uh, you know, anybody notices it. And I gotta say, typically when I'm driving around, if I stop, or even at a stoplight sometimes, uh, I'll get some kind of a comment. I had a couple of people walking in front of the truck the other day, and while they were walking across, they kind of mouthed to me. I couldn't hear them. The windows were up, the radio was on, the air conditioning was blasting, but nice truck and a thumbs up. You know, that's always pretty cool. I mean, it makes you feel good about what you've done, right? Hopefully you're not creating something that's just some ugly, gaudy looking. There went a Tacoma right there. I don't know if you saw it, they actually had a tire on the roof rack up on top of the cab. See that once in a while, but not very often. But anyway, yeah, I do like that. Um, I like to show the truck off. You know, when you put a lot of work into, you know, what you're creating, uh, it's kind of nice when, when it gets acknowledged out there, right? I mean, I'll admit it, you know? I'm not trying to show it off or anything. Eh, maybe I am, I guess. But it's, uh, it's very satisfying when that happens. Um, lastly, I guess, you know, the one thing that I notice about the Tacoma as compared to the Gladiator, it's it's stiffer. You get a stiffer ride. And if you're looking for road feel, and I know it's a truck, right? It's not a sports car. You shouldn't be looking for road feel and acceleration and all that stuff. Well, I certainly don't get acceleration in it, but I do get a lot of road feel. And that again, I think is more a factor of the mods and things that I've done to it. Uh, with the bigger, more aggressive, firmer tires that are on it in combination with the lift, the firmer suspension that's on the truck, I really do get a lot of road feel out of this truck. And sometimes I enjoy that. You're not always, and probably not most of the time, but when I first get in the truck after I haven't been in it for a while, I do enjoy that. It feels, uh, it feels pretty good to be connected to the road, I guess I'll say. Anyway, I just wanted to get on here. I haven't been in the Tacoma for a while, so I thought, you know, I'll get on and kind of share my experience with you guys. Leave a comment, let me know. When you've been out of your truck for a while, missing from the driver's seat, do you miss it? Do you really enjoy when you get back in the truck? And what do you like most about it? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, if you haven't before and you're interested, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive JT all about that 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching, stay safe out there.